Hello and welcome back. This is a video about uh, how to make a data encryption or a secure vault uh, using Kaspersky Total Security 2017. The latest update that uh, they brought out uh, for on the Kaspersky Total Security has this feature called data encryption. And um, this is the website to get more information. We'll cover that in a minute. Uh, but to get to it, you click more tools click data encryption and then create a new vault and then drag your folder in there um, which I'm going to do from here I've actually created a folder called KDE in uh, Dropbox drag that in there bring it back minimize that and there it is that path and um, you can, um, uh, once it's in there, click continue. Um, bearing in mind that if you um, lose your password, you can't open it. Now, um, the vault location, uh, when you first do it, it gives you that name. I'm going to leave that as it is. The location, it defaults to uh, C encryption, uh, C root and encryption folder. So bear that in mind. But I've changed it since to uh, Dropbox, or you can have USB or another location in the, on your PC or external, or whatever, or not try DVD. But more information on their website to, uh, to cover this. So click Browse to go to the folder. Let's do that. OK, and then it defaults to a sender size, which is 100 megabytes. But you won't be able to change the size uh, later once the vault is created. For this exercise, I'm going to reduce it to the lowest, which is 14, uh, to speed things up. And uh, it also creates a desktop shortcut uh, for you to um, open the, the, the vault from there, um, if you wish. And then click Continue. It's very similar to Safe House Explorer, incidentally. Uh, I've created a temporary password with uppercase, lowercase, and a special character. Copy that. You can type that in. But bear in mind that if you lose this, there's a warning. You forget that password. You can't recover that vault. So test it out before you use it because you don't want to lose important stuff that you put in there when you're testing. So make sure you're confident. Uh, otherwise, if you lose important data, it's down to you. Uh, by putting those, uh, that, those uh, that password, it says more than six characters, digits up at a lowercase, special characters, and passwords match, continue. Then it does its thing, it creates the vault, it takes uh, some time, and then it gives you the option, you can see, I'll bring this in view, um, it co creates a desktop shortcut like that, and, and then we'll leave that as it is. And then it says, do you want to delete the original files and folders outside the vault? So uh, there's the vault it's created in Dropbox. And these are the, this is the one that I dragged into the vault. So it said, do you want to delete that? Uh, let's see what happens if I do, which, you do, which I do. So if you're happy to delete them, delete them. But make sure you can always do it afterwards if you feel when you're doing a test run, because you don't want to lose important stuff. So I'm going to do it now because I've done it before. Delete, and you can see from there it's gone now, but it's in the vault. Right, then you get this finish, right, and it's created the vault, and it's, uh, un um, it says lock or open. Because it's open, you can uh, um, not delete it. So let's lock it first, and you can do it from here as well. Right-click on it. It says lock. you got the option, or open. Okay, you get these two when you right click using your mouse. Because it's open, uh, I believe you can't delete it now. Yeah, it won't let you delete it. But once you lock it, you can delete it by right clicking and deleting it. Um, so let's lock it. It does its thing. I'm going to pause the video again. Back to the video, it's locked it, and now it says, un Do you want to unlock it? So once it's locked it, you can delete the uh, this folder, uh, the vault from your USB or whatever, and then delete it from there. And then I'll bring it back 
from um, recycled bin this door yeah and it's back again in in Dropbox so you can delete it but when you open you can't delete it so bear that in mind but you can delete it from here as well uh, I don't know if you can see I'll bring it in view so if you drop down this option you get rename change password location uh, show location create desktop shortcut and delete from here okay you get those options from there as well um, okay I'm gonna pause the video for a second back to the video now to open the vault uh, to unlock it you can only unlock it if you've got c total security so if you go to a different machine you cannot open the vault if you don't have total security I haven't tried it with somebody else who's using this same software but I know if you've got it on your machine, which I have, uh, then you can open it. So bear that in mind. Um, if you um, unlock it from here, you can double click on it and add to the password. Okay, you can right click on it and unlock it and enter the password. And you can unlock it from here and enter the password. Uh, or you can delete it from here, but then when you delete it from here, it asks you for the password. Otherwise, it doesn't let you delete it. Let's try deleting it. It says no, invalid. Yet, you can delete it, delete the fold, uh, folder once it's locked, as I showed you. So let's put the password in, delete it. Now it'll delete it, and it's gone from um, Dropbox. Here you go, it's gone. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, more on the uh, website. Scroll down to show how you create a pass vault, uh, where it is, which I've shown you, the data encryption, and uh, the rest of it. Okay, um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.